Hello and welcome to Astro Imagery. In today's video, I want to talk about, you know, something that's continuation of my last few videos. My last video, if you watched it, was all about preparing your images for print. I've really been thinking, how can I improve the quality of my images so that I can print them, display them, or share them? One way we can improve our images is by sharpening them. But today I want to talk about an absolutely free piece of software called Cosmic Clarity, which I'm trying out for the first time. And I must say, it's a spoiler alert here, um, I'm quite pleased with the results. And considering it's free, I think, you know, it, it's going to rival really Blur Exterminator, which is another program. Um, you know, I was tempted to get Blur, Blur Exterminator. I've already got Noise Exterminator and Gradient Exterminator, and I love those programs by Russell Croman. But, you know, why keep on spending the money when you can use something free? So let me show you how to use Cosmic Clarity and how it can improve your images. Now I'm going to show you how to use Cosmic Clarity I'll walk you through it. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the link, which I put in the description. You want to go to Cosmic Clarity and you want to download it. Once you've extracted these files, you'll have this folder on your computer. You want to double click on there and go to the input file. In the input file, you're going to actually put the image that you want sharpened. Let's just take this previous file away. So let's go find a file that I can use. Let's say I want to do this one. Copy it and then go to the input folder in Cosmic Clarity. Copy and paste your file into here. And now what I'll do is I'll go back to the main file. So here it is, the Cosmic Clarity suite for Windows. And I'll go and find Cosmic Clarity sharpening tool. It's this one here, it's a SETI Astro Cosmic Clarity. So, double click. So once SETI Astro opens, you'll see this window, and then this pop-up will come. You can basically use all these default settings. So I won't change any of these. I'll click Submit. And what you'll see now, it's loaded the TIFF image, and it's begun sharpening this image. So it's going to do two things. It's going to do stellar sharpening, so it's going to sharpen the stars. You can see that it's completed that very, very quickly. And it's going to do non-stellar sharpening, which is the nebula itself. And here you can see it's progressing. So here it's sharpened the image and put it in the output file, which you can now see is this one here. This is now the sharpened file. This was just for demonstration purposes. I'll now show you what stunning results I've actually got with a couple of my images. This is an image of Melot 15, which is the center of the Heart Nebula. And we can compare a sharpened and an unsharpened image here. Look at the stars in the sharpened image. And in the unsharpened image, they're not very clear at all. So it's tightened up the stars a tremendous amount. You can see a blob which appears here. In fact, in the sharpened version, you can actually see that it's three separate stars. 
Take a look at this band in the central part of the nebula. And when it's sharpened up, it's much, much clearer. More details are appearing. The difference is huge. Let's zoom up a bit now. You can see, zoom up a bit to the unsharpened version, and it's quite blurry. The sharpened version is much, much clearer. The details are vastly improved. I think it's a huge success. To be able to get so much improvement for free, I think it's well worth doing. Let's take a look now at the Tadpole Nebula. The sharpened image has really, really nice stars. Look at the comparison. The stars in the unsharpened version are not, are not round, really. And also at this filament where the tadpole is, is much clearer in the sharpened version. Look at these bunch of stars. They're unresolved in the unsharpened version and very, very sharp. An amazing result. And again, absolutely free.